Hey there, if you're ready to save time on invoicing and collections and give your customers more ways to pay you from absolutely anywhere, stick around and discover Payment Links by Peach Payments. You can create a payment link or a batch of payment links in the Peach Payments dashboard and send them to your customers via email, WhatsApp, or SMS, or in any other channel you communicate with them, like social media apps, documents, or invoices. Your customers then click on the link to view the payment request and complete payment using one of Peach Payment's many secure payment options. You don't need any integration work done, and you and your customers are protected by Peach Payment's enterprise-grade PCI DSS Level 1 security. So without further ado, let's have a look at how payment links work. Hey, it's Carl, and welcome to a walkthrough of payment links by Peach Payments. As you can see, I'm in the Peach Payments dashboard. And I come over here to the left and click the payment links tab. And you can see that today I don't have any links created. But if I come to the segmentation over here and go for the last 10 days, a bunch of links are going to pop up that I have created already. And you can segment on a variety of predetermined date ranges or your own custom date range as well. There are also some more filters over here where you can filter your links based on the amount, the status of the link itself, and then also how you sent the link. So closing that up, we come over here to the top next to my links is settings. And here you can see that the payment methods that are associated with your account and through which customers can pay via your payment links. Also, if you scroll down this page, you'll see the email and SMS templates that you can adjust. So any text you can put in there that will then go into the emails and the SMSs that you send your payment links through to your customers. And then right at the bottom, we see the terms and conditions which you can compel customers to accept before paying you as well. So coming back to the top and going back to the links page, we're gonna create a payment link by coming over here to the right and clicking create and you'll see you have two options you can create bulk payment links up to a thousand links at a time and send them all at once via that option and really that's super easy use an excel spreadsheet when you input data in predetermined columns and rows you export that as a csv and upload it here and click send and we have a very convenient template that we've created for you to follow that makes it really easy to get that information correct we're going to create a single payment link right now. So I'm coming over here to click single payment link. I'm going to input the amount that I would like my customer, in this case myself, to pay. An invoice ID, which is a minimum of eight characters. And then I can also choose how long I want the link to be active for. I'm going to input my details here. I'm going to choose to send this particular payment link as an email. And then you'll see there are also more options. I can add people in CC or BCC, but also an attachment like a PDF, an invoice or similar. And then also some additional notes for my customer as well. When I've done that, I'm going to come over here to the right and click create payment link. And what that's going to do is it's going to create and send a payment link. And as you can see there, is the payment link that's created the status is initiated and if i come over to my email you can see that there is the payment link sent from peach payment sales payment links demo i'm going to click on that and then you see the invoice details for that particular payment clicking pay now we are now being redirected to a secure payment page hosted by peach payments where again you get a summary of the invoice and then clicking pay now, we're going to get to the Peach checkout screen. And here you'll see, as mentioned previously, all the different payment methods associated with your payment links. I'm going to choose card for this particular payment. And it's going to ask me for some details, which I'm going to put in. Okay, so having inputted those details, I'm going to click pay now. And now I'm going to get redirected to a 3D secure authentication screen where I'm going to authenticate the transaction in my banking app. Okay. 
having authenticated the transaction i click done and that was a successful payment with payment links if i go back to the dashboard you'll see that status of that particular payment link has changed to completed and what's great here is that i can click into the particular link and get more details from the panel that slides out on the right you can see here the link date the details the time frame for completing the payment any notes and attachments that i might have added then in terms of the payment itself here are the details for my payment my credit card and then there's also an updates tab which gives you a sense of what's happening in terms of the link being successfully processed something else worth mentioning is that if you open the little need help tab over here on the left there's access to our documentation hub where there's very comprehensive documentation on everything from failure codes so if transactions are failing you can look up why and there's a whole bunch more detail about our systems and processes there but there's a payment links tab itself over here which gives more information on payment links and then there's detail on how to connect to different e-commerce platforms as well shopify works through etc then also a tab for the status of peach payments services and that was a whistle stop tour of payment links for each payments hope you enjoyed it thanks for listening